This app has completely changed how I actually collect manga. It's quite surprising. That man and his manga. Hello and welcome to That Man. And today I'm looking at Weekly Shonen Jump, the app. Now this app has been out for quite some time. In fact, I believe it's around two years. And it's really changed how I consume manga. Now, as you guys are already aware, I am pretty heavy on the whole digital storefront. While I'm aware that it is vastly different to picking up a manga volume and just being able to read it, it has changed how I collect manga. Much like a lot of other people, I was very into collecting pretty much everything I was reading in Shonen Jump. My Hero Academia, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, Yu-Gi-Oh, Hunter Hunter, uh, Buso Rinken, uh, Rururi Kenshin, Assassination Classroom, Food Wars. When I first started buying manga again, I had pretty much all of them. As the time's gone on, however, I felt that with the Shonen Jump app, I no longer need to purchase these volumes. The Shonen Jump app is doing a rather good job in keeping me up to date on the most latest manga. However, it's changed my collection. I, I, I used to buy a lot of these manga titles, these Shonen Jump titles. And now I look at My Hero Academia or Black Clover and Demon Slayer and I'm just like, I don't need to own them. I really don't need to own them. There's no reason to own them. I, I can read it all on the app. And I got to thinking, this has completely changed how I buy manga. No longer do I focus on Viz titles and have entire shelves just full of one series. In fact, it's actually forced me to expand my horizons. A few months ago, a few years ago, I probably wouldn't have been purchasing titles such as New Game or Girls Last Tour because I didn't have the space for them. However, now that the Shonen Jump app exists and everything is all on one app, I managed to get rid of a huge amount of my old collection and purchase different series, meaning my taste and my collection is way more varied than it was before. Now I'm not saying that Shonen Jump titles are bad, I actually do still collect a few of them and those are few and far between. Currently those are Doctor Stone, Spy Family and of course One Piece, which to be fair I was buying in Japanese way before I started with the Shonen Jump app. That's right. I used to read illegal scans. The Shonen Jump app has actually really made me think how I consume manga as well because there's a fair few series that I was buying volumes of where I had literally no interest in finishing them off. And this made me look and say, well, actually I don't really need to own these. I can actually get rid of them. I actually sold all of my My Hero Academia titles. I mean, I only had volumes one to six, but I realized that I no longer need to keep buying a series that I just need to catch up on. It, it actually was really good. I felt quite liberated. And it's not just that, it's not just ending series. It's starting series that I would not have given a chance otherwise. For example, Black Clover had so much negative attention on it over the last few years. I just genuinely wouldn't get into it. And once I found I could just binge the entire thing in Shonen Jump, I did just that. And Black Clover is now one of my favourite titles. But this also applies to new titles. Shark and Dolphin, one of my favourite titles over the last few months. I would not have even looked at if it wasn't for the Shonen Jump app. Marshall, Undead Unluck, Magu-chan, Me and Roboco, these are all titles that I might have looked, might have bought volume one of, but I probably wouldn't have. I wouldn't have just went into them. I was just like, oh well, you know, it's like, it, this might not continue. This might only get to three or four volumes and then end. Then there's money wasted, money gone. And it also means I'm not having to try and keep up with stuff via scans. And I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. 
up until around three or four years ago, I did do scans. Now, I'm proud to announce I'm scan free. But that's pretty much due to the Shonen Jump app. There's that much choice on there. I probably don't really need to have any reason to go on to scans. Anything else I buy and collect or buy digitally and collect. In fact, I'm actually at the point where I've got that much manga. I don't have the time to look at anything else, anything new. Jujutsu Kaisen is still on my to read list. But I know I can read the entire thing on Shonen Jump. But this is something that I've been thinking of. It has a devalued Shonen Jump for me. Years ago I would have bought all of Naruto, all of Bleach, all of My Hero Academia. I would have probably started buying all of Black Clover, Demon Slayer, Promised Neverland. But now I don't have any reason to pick up these volumes. They're all on the app. So is they losing money? Is Shonen Jump losing money from me not purchasing everything? But then again, in some titles like My Hero Academia, I don't enjoy it enough to warrant buying each and every volume. So, whatever little they get from the Shonen Jump app is more than the zero they would have gotten from me from the My Hero Academia volumes. In fact, I probably would have grew to love My Hero Academia because I would have had volumes 1 to 20 and then realised I just don't enjoy the series anymore and then have to shift it. But what is your guys' opinion on the Shonen Jump app? Do you enjoy it or are you one of these people who just really, really needs to have something physically? I know you guys are still out there. In fact, you're the majority. But let me know what you guys think. Is there any series that you've just completely picked up and absolutely loved via Shonen Jump? Promise Neverland, Demon Slayer, Black Clover, all titles that I would never give a chance without the Shonen Jump app, to be honest. Or do you just hate everything about it? Let me know in the comments. And if you do like manga, if you do like anime, go check out some of these other videos. There's plenty of great content on there. And remember to subscribe. See you later.